Hi everybody and welcome to our channel. Today I'm going to talk about super visas and more specifically if you should consider getting a super visa or a temporary resident visa, a visit, visitor visa for your parent or grandparent. Um, if you want to invite your parent or grandparent to Canada, so the applicant, you can uh, get a super visa or a visitor visa. However, super visas has, have certain extra requirements which a visitor visa does not have. So in order to get a super visa, you have to demonstrate a minimum necessary income and you have to purchase travel health insurance uh, for a certain amount uh, up to a period of one year. Currently, that's the, the rule. Uh, the travel health insurance is up to $100,000 uh, for your parent or grandparent. Um, I always recommend our clients, if they have the minimum necessary income and if they can afford the travel health insurance for their parent, um, to get the super visa um, because the, the issuance of a super visa is a little bit more guaranteed than a regular visitor visa. It doesn't necessarily mean that you're, you will automatically for sure 100% get the super visa, but the, the number of uh, issuance of super visa is much higher than a regular visitor visa because specifically a visitor visa was made um, to allow parents and grandparents to travel to Canada uh, for a certain period of time, have the flexibility to go back and forth for longer per periods of visit because of the restrictive nature of the current parental and grandparent sponsorship program. Um, having said that, even if you're applying for a super visa, you shouldn't take for granted that it's going to be approved. So here at the office, we always make sure to still put a lot of documentation about the ties to the home country. We put specific travel dates of, of when the travel is going to be, what's the itinerary. Uh, we also put a lot of evidence of the sponsor's capability here and the, the child uh, or the grandchild's capability to financially support. Um, and what's the reason of the visit. So um, depending of which country your parent or grandparent is, sometimes the officer might still wonder, well, is this parent and grandparent going to come and then go back? Or are they going to overstay their status, become illegal, and not leave at the uh, expiration um, of their visa? So uh, for example, at the office, we recently did two, two super visas for um, parents that live in Iraq and we did another one for parents um, that live in Syria and because of the political nature and instability that's in those regions right now we make sure to really explain that um, they're coming for a visit but they have a home to go back to they have a community they have responsibilities um, and that they're not just going to come here and, and overstay their visas. Um, if you have any questions about uh, super visas uh, don't hesitate to contact us. Thank you.